Appreciate it. The National Park Service is cracking down on occupied D.C. camps. Officials say protesters who are now camped at D.C. parks must pack up their gear by noon today or they will be hauled off to jail. We're told the crackdown actually could even happen earlier than noon. Plus over at, uh, in Oakland, California, the Occupy protesters there. Look at these pictures. Can you believe this? This is in downtown Oakland. They were clashing heavily. This is insane. I mean, I used to live right not very far from there. Clashing heavily with the police. More than 400 people arrested. I think it's the first mass arrest uh, in that city. Will we see similar chaos? like this in D.C. Uh, there's one indication that says yes, uh, especially that shot of the, the guy being tased by a, uh, a police officer. Look at that as they haul him down to the ground. Oh, wow. Uh, some protesters are telling CNN that when the clock strike 12, they had no plans to go absolutely anywhere. Listen. I'm more than happy to go to jail as many times as they would like to take me to jail. Everybody else here is in the same boat. If they come to arrest me for camping, they can take me to jail. I'll be out the next day. I'll be right back here, and they can come arrest me again. And there is a dilemma for people who are trying to clear those camps. Brian Todd is in D.C. for us this morning. Hey, Brian, good morning. Morning, Soledad. This place has been buzzing since before dawn. Take a look over here. Uh, some of these people have uh, have been kind of buzzing around here, uh, just trying to pack up their belongings uh, and at least move them out of sight ahead of the enforcement action here. Uh, you've got some of the protesters over here also trying to pack up some things. Uh, what they're going to be looking for when the uh, National Park Service police move in here is signs of bedding, personal belongings, and maybe open tents. If you have signage like this indicating protest and 24-hour vigil status, they may not move on you. They're not going to sweep this entire place and round everybody up. They're not going to take down every tent. They're just looking for personal belongings, bedding, and closed tents with no signage. So we're going to see uh, kind of how that confrontation develops. A lot of these people say they're not going anywhere, as you uh, played that soundbite earlier. So there could be a confrontation here in a few hours when the National Park Service police move in. This has been kind of brewing for a few weeks now since the D.C. government started to comply about a petty crime in this area, about sanitation conditions here uh, being poor. And uh, so it's been kind of a, a back and forth between the D.C. government, the Interior Department, and uh, and uh, Congressman Darrell Issa of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Uh, both uh, the D.C. government and Mr. Issa have been in favor of some kind of an enforcement action here to move at least some of these protesters out of here. They're enforcing a no camping rule, uh, but the Park Service has been a little bit reluctant to do that. They don't want to stamp on First Amendment rights of free speech, but they do uh, now. It's kind of come to a critical head here. They do now have to move in, they say. So in about four hours or so, they'll start to move in here. So right. that. Brian Todd's watching that for us. Uh, if it's anything like the shots that we saw out of Oakland, that is going to be absolutely ugly. Well, Oakland has, has, has had the most vicious response oh. from police. Wow, there, wow, that's, that country. has been incredible to watch. Right, still ahead.